Welcome back everyone to the State of the Nation. Go talk, go home. Okay, when he goes home, Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksa becomes president. Rajapaksa's go home. Okay, when the Prime Minister goes home, the Speaker becomes the president. All 225 go home. Now, even if that occurs, are you telling me that in the election that will follow to elect the new leaders, we won't have the same people who are now in the parliament contesting again? And better yet, coming back to the parliament? No, 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 no. We will elect a fresh 225. Oh, a brilliant idea. Do you mean to say that we will go get a fresh 225 and select individuals who have no experience running this country, the governing process, a fresh lot? who have not been part of this political process. That's actually an awesome idea. Wait, it sounds a bit familiar, don't you think? Former Defence Secretary Gotabaya Rajapaksa is all set to take on a new role. We want to live freely in our country. This is the only expectation we have from our new president. We feel he can do it, as he has ended the civil war. That's why we voted for him. We trust him as he is not a politician, but a government servant. I am representing young generation as a youngest, I think. My vote, I am voted for him because he's technical part. He's a very, very technological person and digitalized person. Aren't we as a nation tired of going around in circles? See, the reason we cannot go for an immediate election right now to check the pulse of the people is that the law is unambiguous. Unfortunately, we have found ourselves in this predicament due to all the patchwork we've done to our constitution. Earlier, the country's president had the power to dissolve parliament. The very next day it was elected. Then we said, no, no, no. That was not right. We got to stop the executive from exploiting this because President Chandrika Kumarthunga was a fan of dissolving parliament as and when she pleased. So we brought an amendment to patch that. Now, when we are at a place where we really need to seek the powers of the people, we cannot. The very instrument that was supposed to help us govern better is the one that's becoming a hindrance to us. Joining me now is the former Human Rights Commissioner, Professor Prathiba Mahana Maheva. Uh, thank you very much, Professor, for your time. Well, Sri Lanka is uh, at a defining moment in its history. Uh, there is a request by the people to overthrow the president and the government, but there is no uh, plan afterwards. Uh, instead, certain quarters are seeking an election. Now, what is the clarity, Professor, given by the constitution on this? Mahesh, the constitutional provisions are very clear. In constitution, Article 38 very clearly express how the president vacancy is coming up. 38.1, the person who is holding the 
position of the president, if dies with his death, it already vacate. Number two is very important. Article 38.1, it's very clearly saying, when the president hand over the letter of resignation to the honorable speaker, from that day, the president vacancy, the president position is vacated. Or else, the House must sign and hand over impeachment motion, not a non-confidence. Impeachment motion, which must have more than two-thirds signatories, which has to be satisfied by the speaker, then it goes to a case, then the Supreme Court, then they hear the case. Once again, the Supreme Court decision hand over to the parliament with a simple majority it has been passed. So therefore, according to the 1978 constitution, which clarifies very clearly, the president can vacate his post by giving a resignation letter. Or else, an impeachment motion should be passed in the parliament. Those are the only constitution provisions in our 1978 Second Republican Constitution. Yeah, makes sense, uh, Professor. Now, let's say hypothetically, the president resigns. Now, as per the constitution, the prime minister becomes the president. Now, this prime minister has become the president twice. And the constitution is also very clear that an individual cannot be president more than two terms. Now, aren't we heading for a constitutional crisis? I mean, the, this economic crisis, if that's the case. Uh, Mahish, that also very clearly say Article 40. Article 40 say when the president vacate the post or giving a resignation letter or by losing an impeachment motion, immediately the provision, there will be a president acting for until the General, until the presidential election. So, he is only completing that gap. Now, in that case, the constitution clearly say it has to be present to the parliament, then the prime minister will be elevated for the president. It is there in Sri Lanka, a practical example when the death of Honorable President R. Prem Dasa, then the immediately the prime minister was appointed. So, if prime minister has become two times as a full president. But now, uh, the current uh, Prime Minister Honorable Mahindra Rajapaksa has held the post for two consecutive years, but he is not coming as a president. He is acting for that period only. Now, what will happen? The provision also very not very clear. You can get a constitutional interpretation. If not, the other one is Honorable Speaker. So, let's see the interpretation also goes in, in favor of the other side, then what will happen? The speaker can be appointed. Or else uh, you can pass, a, you can see, if the speaker is not willing, the speaker can see the majority of the parliament who is going to be uh, filling this vacancy. Now in this constitution, the biggest problem, not like USA constitution, we don't have a deputy president. So this is a very important future. Uh, this is the super seating uh, constitution without a deputy president. So that's why they keep the deputy president for that period, but it is not in the constitutional approach. Absolutely true. As always, uh, Professor Pratibha Mahana Mahila, thank you very much. I appreciate the time. Let's take a short commercial break. Upon our return, we'll talk about solutions.